Hi there and welcome to Bean Tip and Tricks by ENG. My name is Ignacio and today I want to show you some Navis work tricks that will make a big difference while coordinating. To begin with, I want to say that I've seen a lot of times during coordination meetings that someone tries to show a section view on Navis work but the plane is not aligned to what they want to show and they really struggle trying to get a good view. So for the first trick, we are going to align the plane to an existing surface. For that, we go to the section in tools tab. We are going to choose the plane, on this case plane 6, and on the alignment deployable options we are going to choose align to surface. Then we are going to click on the element we want and that's it. Now we can show exactly what we want without using the 6 original planes. Alright, that was the easy one, now let's keep digging. Imagine that we want to show someone an issue, but there are elements on our viewpoint that we don't want to see. So for the next trick, we are going to use the viewpoint attributes so that hidden elements stay on that way on the SEVI viewpoint every time we go to it. For that, we are going to right click on the viewpoint and then select edit. There, we are going to check on the high required option and click OK. We are going to do the same for the other viewpoint to show the difference. Now, we can hide all we want on that viewpoint and then when we update it, those elements won't reappear. Let's see how this works. This can be really useful for overall views, especially when roofs have different elevations or are sloped, case on which using a top plane to make a section view becomes very difficult. With this trick, we can create an overall view with hidden roofs and see all we need to see. Try not to use this trick a lot because this kind of viewpoints will make your model file much bigger and it can get slower if you don't have a good hardware. Finally, for my last trick, I'm gonna show you something really satisfying. We all know that Navis Work doesn't have the friendless interface and what's worse, there are some daily use tools that don't even have a keyboard shortcut. For example, the shortcut for select element tool is Ctrl plus one, but there is no shortcut for the box selection tool. To create a new one, we are going to edit Navis Work code. Don't worry though, it's pretty easy. First, we go to the software location. On my case, it's on the local disk, program files, Autodesk, and Navis Work. Here, we need to choose which version we want to create the shortcut at. I'm going to choose Navis Work 2020. There, we go to the layout folder and open the Roamer commands files as a text document. We can use the notepad for that. Now, all we need to do is find the tools code that we want to add a shortcut for. Since I'm going to create a shortcut for the select box tool, I'm going to search for the word box until I recognize the code. Once we are there, we are just going to copy the code from the shortcut above and change the key. I'm going to choose Ctrl plus Q. Now let's see it working. For that, we are going to have to restart Navis Work. With this same logic, we can add or change any keyboard shortcut on Navis Work. Once again, this trick can save us a lot of time and effort when doing our daily work. Though I'm not seeing the keyboard shortcut on the interface, when pressing the command, we can change from the select element tool to the box selection tool. Well, that's it for today. If you liked the video, remember to give a thumb up and subscribe for more Bean Tip and Tricks videos.